But then you gotta be I saw equal, well though. I saw somebody online say the reason why was because they had to they made an example of the Denver Broncos. And they were saying that because when they look back at the tape during the exposure time and none of the quarterbacks were wearing masks, the NFL pretty much like, said that like there's no excuse. Right. They but were like, you. you guys didn't follow the protocol that we have in place. Because if you did, then one right. of y'all could have just started. Right. So the idea was yeah. like, you yeah. guys didn't follow protocol. You nope. guys got sick. That's on you. And they literally had no quarterbacks. And the NFL was like, figure it out. And you know what? If I'm being and here's the thing. Wild if I'm being honest, I kind of time. agree with that sentiment. However, I do too. Are are the are all the other teams really following protocol that closely? That's and where things just, get weird, that right? Is where it so gets here's the thing, right? Up. Here's the thing, right? You got tape. I get it. But are you holding all these teams to the same standard? Like, come nope. on now. Nope. No, probably not. not right come on skip come on skip come on skip there's probably like, <laughs> boy i bet you during practice and in the locker room half. like they're none of those at dudes are, well half. maybe not none of those dudes well, but like you know what come I, would on actually, now. I would actually say three quarters probably three quarters i bet of most of them are or really but who's to say i no, i would say they are not okay i, I would say maybe half to three quarters are, are kind of in their own way sure we're together we're all comfortable with one another we good I could tell you that right now. That I mean, if I if I was with a team that I've been with for years, right? Yeah, you're like, like I trust together, all you guys. Some, like, let's not I don't be think weird. I'm like being crazy. I, you know, we're working on it. Running, right. to fuck the mask. And dude. and I think that like what you just said on, is bro. more than likely the case for most of the teams in the NFL. That's what I'm saying. So like, what I'm like, getting at on, is bro. like you can you give them the benefit go. of a doubt, but like, let's be real, dude. I bet you a bunch of dudes on the Ravens doing that, weren't dude. wearing goddamn masks, and that's why they've gone eight straight days with outbreaks. Like. Willie Sneed just got it the other like yesterday too. So I'm just like Come I think on, bro. I, I, I see what the NFL is saying, but if but I'm being honest, I think they're being a little inconsistent with the yeah. way they're enforcing the rules. But being and I think it's really interesting that they postponed the undefeated Steelers Can't be and, like, uh, and the Baltimore Ravens. Like that 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 starts to become like bias. It starts to get weird, right? That is crazy. You can't get biased. Because Lamar Jackson, it, like former MVP, uh, you know, boy. Ravens are trying to make a yep. push for the playoffs. And oh. and the undefeated Pittsburgh Steelers. So the game is supposed to be really good. So like you're gonna have a lot of viewership, and you know two of the premier quarterbacks of the league. Like they're both playing, and then like you know it's the Saints and the Broncos. Broncos are almost out of the what of the fucking playoff picture already, and the Saints are pretty much in already. So the stakes are very high. Drew Brees is already out, so it's Taysom Hill. It's not that big a deal, like as far as like numbers go. It feels kind of like a business decision to me, which makes me feel a little yucky, if I'm being honest. <laughs> and I've been sitting on this all week, dude. I've been really like, I've been really thinking about it, but I, I think that I, if I'm being honest, I think the Broncos got screwed. And and like they didn't even have to. Like the NFL could have postponed the game, they just didn't. <laughs> like, because the Broncos ain't shit. Right. That's why. But that's, that's exactly uh, that it, but I mean, I mean I'm, I'm not a Denver fan, so well, fuck right. them, right? Well, but I mean, like I, I'm I, sure I, there are plenty of there I, I mean there are a lot of fans out there. I don't you wanna know? say I don't wanna say that right, because there are Denver fans, right? And so Yeah. But I mean come on man, that's almost like everybody pick a straw. You just got the short one. Kind like, of. You know that's kind how, like for real though. You know that's how this is gonna go. Like For real though. That's tough. Yeah, so I mean it's kinda like you can't get mad, but can you really like if your team was well, that here's the thing, great, right? right? Even I if mean, other teams aren't doing it, like at the same time, all your quarterbacks weren't wearing masks. So look, you know what I mean. You, so, so it's almost look, like, well, damn. I'll you put know? it this way: if Peyton was there, okay, y'all yeah, would be fine. I, what else can you say? That's that's all. That's the only way I can put it. Okay, it's I true can, though. Come on, Locke, you're there. You I, Peyton okay, would just look dude. at Roger and be like, "Come on, man," and Roger would be like, "All right." <laughs> Hey, Goodell, I heard that you said, um... <laughs> Just keeping it real, dude. <laughs> you didn't like that chicken parm that I was talking about on that commercial? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you liked it? All right, I'll talk to you later. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, over with. Boy. <laughs> Postpone. <laughs> Postpone. <laughs> Two weeks. Um, a you know, m- I'm a, month and I'm a, a half. I'm a pretty influential <laughs> voice for Papa John's. Boy, like. look now. <laughs> Shit, stop playing, man. Yeah, that's just how it goes, though. Drew yeah. Locke, 
I mean, Von Miller ain't really doing. I mean, that is that 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 is all. Von Miller's just, still hurt. He's out for the year. That's what I'm saying. Like, that that is all just a, that doesn't matter. It's no the more, season's guys. scrapped for them, dude. They're not officially like they're not statistically right. eliminated, but like, come on now. So they're almost like y'all just playing get sick. So we don't even got a schedule, y'all. Like pretty much, we'll postpone just the rest of y'all season until like they're like marriage. if y'all are close to making the playoffs, <laughs> we'll make an exception. But like, if y'all not, we'll just say that y'all ain't even a team that can compete. I got a little spooked. A couple guys on the Packers <laughs> got it, but then like. Like since then, everything's been cool. Well, I mean, just good organizations don't play with none of that, and you don't have to worry about none of that. Yeah. It, like, if honestly, if your teams are getting it, then y'all are just have teams that are doing crazy that stuff. That lack I discipline. Mean, I mean, and so so what I think it is, it's like self-discipline, right? That's what I'm saying, yeah. I would feel like in that sport, if I played for a team, I would not wear a mask. Because I'm like, I'm not going out doing nothing. So I'm, I'm healthy. True. I would expect all of y'all... That are making way more money than I'm even right. making. You're like, let's like, make this bread. Like, what are we doing right now? To be healthy. Right. So, I mean, if I end up catching it because one of y'all got it being dumb. And like, and you guys and, keep your family in check. Like, you don't be letting I'm your saying? girl go out and, like, do, like, your girl don't need to go nowhere. You're making seven figures. Like, what are we talking about right now? Like, bro, like how, she needs to stay the fuck home in that seven-figure house. You know what would be and more. And chill the fuck out. You know what would be more crazy, though, that you would end up running into? Like, dude, your family, your wife and kids don't have it. Why do you? Right. So, like, what's up with that? What are we talking about right now? What the, where the, what the hell was you And who'd you get it from? What's up with that, huh? What are we talking about right now? Them cooties. Them Them cooties, cooties, boy. Yeah, Yeah, we're talking about some cooties (laughs) right now. We're talking about them cooties, boy. (laughs) We're talking about, we're talking about some of those NBA bubble wingies. Whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Or whatever happens when you go get some wings in Atlanta stays in Atlanta. Stays in Atlanta, bro. Them cooties. What are we we talking about right now? Them cooties is for real. Hey, they're for real, bro. (laughs) 